things in Montpelier have been slow as the legislature tries to find revenue to fund its health care bill. However, this week, Congress passed legislation that's been 14 years in coming. They finally were able to repeal the Medicare payment formula for physicians called the Sustainable Growth Rate, or SGR. This is a huge victory for the VMS and organized medicine. For the next five years, physicians will see a half percent increase in their Medicare reimbursement and then a potential 5% increase as it moves into more value-based purchasing. The important children's health insurance program for Medicaid was also extended for two years. Again, while things in Montpelier have been slow, things have been very active in Washington and we commend our congressional delegation for the, their support for this important legislation. A bill restoring Medicaid reimbursement for primary care to the Medicare level, specialty care to about 84% of Medicare, level funding educational loan repayment, and increasing the blueprint medical home payments has passed two committees in the House, but has an uncertain future. The bill includes $20 million in new taxes, a half cent per ounce excise tax on sugary drinks and diet drinks, uh, a 25 cent increase on a cigarette pack of cigarettes, and it removes an exemption to the 6% sales tax for dietary supplements. These taxes are um, going to be difficult to pass in the House, especially since the, the drink manufacturers are working hard against them. So the fate of the bill is uncertain in the House, and VMS members, we encourage you to contact your House representatives. The Medical Practice Board is working on three initiatives right now. In the fee bill, uh, they've included a $25 increase to, to physicians' renewal license fees and uh, also a $25 increase for initial license application fees. The new renewal fee for, for uh, 2016 will be $550 and the new initial license fee will be $650. These are first increases in a number of years. The other thing the board, another thing the board is working on is the Interstate Licensing Compact. They've introduced the bill in the Senate that would establish a compact. If Vermont joined the compact, physicians would be able to obtain licenses in other states through an expedited process. The Medical Society is working with the board on this. In addition, the Board of Medical Practice is proposing to adopt a policy on use of telemedicine in medical practice. It would make clear that things like patient evaluation and, for, and informed consent must be in place for telemedicine and the board is accepting comments on this policy through their meeting on May 6th. On Wednesday afternoon, the Senate, um, in a last minute amendment, Senators Mullen, Campbell and Sears uh, made an amendment to H98, which is an immunization registry bill. Uh, and the amendment is to remove the philosophical exemption for immunizations in school entry. Um, there was much debate on the Senate floor and um, after a few minutes, they came back and will be taking testimony in Senate Health and Welfare next Wednesday morning. So we will be providing them with a list of witnesses to testify. So stay tuned. S-141, which is an act relating to possession of firearms, passed through House Judiciary on Tuesday, and it would um, prevent violent felons and some um, people who've been co convicted of drug abuse or drug-related crimes um, from owning firearms. Uh, it would also um, mandate that the Department of Mental Health um, send lists of um, mental health patients who have been adjudicated in a court system to the, the National Instant Criminal um, Surveillance System. And um, so that passed House Judiciary and should be on the floor this week.